Today, we'll be exploring the deep, dark secrets of the Holy Grail. Don't go away. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Fat Guy Productions. I am Paul, coming to you, as always, from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. And yes, indeed, we are looking for the Holy Grail today. The Holy Grail of airbrushes, that is. After some exhaustive research, I think we found the clues that will lead me to our prize. If my calculations are correct, eh, get out of here. You're not it. Definitely not an airbrush. If my calculations are correct, we'll find the Holy Grail in this box. So let's open it and find out. As you can see, this box has traveled thousands of miles to end up here on my desk. It began its journey in Germany, because Germany is the home of Harder Steenbeck airbrushes. Inside here, I hope to find one of their greatest works, an infinity airbrush. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open this up and I'm gonna talk to you just a little bit while I do. I remember very vividly as a young man, just gotten married, just got my first house. I needed tools. And so I would go to like Kmart and I'd buy a grip of Kmart screwdrivers and some Black & Decker power tools. And uh, I'd get them home and boy, they weren't very good. They, they were really bad. So later in life, I started to replace them with good stuff. Stuff like Porter Cable or uh, craftsman hand tools, DeWalt, all excellent tools that are quality built. And there is value in quality. So for me, buying this airbrush is sort of the same thing. Instead of buying a Black & Decker airbrush, I'm buying a Porter Cable. <laughs> uh, oh, you guys have to see this here. Let me try and show. I, I, you know what? Let me change the camera angle, okay? You guys got to see this. This is good for a little gi giggle. All right. <laughs> Can you see it? In all of the, that packaging for that little box. Here, let me let me go back. Okay. This. <laughs> This is certainly good for a laugh. Look at that. They sure were not taking any chances with their their delivery here. <laughs> That's it. Oh my gosh, that is hysterical. Oh, those zany Germans, right? All right. So here I have it, an Infinity Airbrush from Harder and Steenbeck. It's not only the top of the line, but it's so beautiful that you almost hate to put paint in it. You know, for me, spending a, a grip of cash on a Harder Steenbeck, it just made a lot of sense. This is a tool I use a lot. and. So it made sense for me to have the very, very best. So I decided to splurge. So let's go ahead and get it out of the box and see what we have. Alrighty. Now, aside... Let me uh, switch views for you guys so you can see better. Uh, 
Okay, now aside from this airbrush being of the highest quality, uh, Harder Steambeck has an online configurator which allows you to custom build your own airbrush. You can even choose your own engraving so you can personalize the side. Um, you can pick colors for virtually every part of the airbrush. Holy cow. Look at that thing. Look at that airbrush. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. I almost hate to touch it. This is amazing. Look at this thing, guys. Yeah, I kind of went for an Iron Man theme here. And, uh, of course, on the side I, I have Fat Guy Productions. But literally, you can choose the color of this and this, 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 this. You know, you, wow. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it out of the box. Here, no, let's get this little packet out here first. What is this? Okay, this is a spare... Uh, protector for the end of the nozzle. And this is the little tool that you use to, to take apart the collar here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this out of the box. And let's go ahead, close this and move it out of the way. Wow. When you build this, you can choose your nozzle size you can choose the paint cup size. And and yeah, like I was saying, you can choose virtually every color of every part of this airbrush. You could have them all be different colors. It could have, be like a clown airbrush if that's what you wanted. Wow, look at this thing. It's just beautiful. It's almost too nice to, to spray with. Is it expensive? Well, yeah. I spent around $300 for this airbrush. But it's a brush that's going to last me for the rest of my life. It's, it's beautiful. It's made with a, a triple coating of copper, nickel, and high gloss chrome. It's so durable it won't oxidize under the sweat of your hand. They have advanced technology in the seals that they use. So... It's a great brush for working with solvent paints. Ah. Oh. And all of that can be done without sacrificing life on the airbrush. This, this little thing right back here is called a quick fix. And what it does is it allows you to dial in trigger pull so that you can get repetitive painting over and over and over again. Set what you want. Just Start the airflow and pull the trigger back, and you'll get the same results time after time after time. Want a little heavier flow? Just dial this to another notch. There, the trigger will come back a little bit further and give you more uh, paint as you're going. But you don't lose any of the control of a dual action airbrush. You still have all of that right here. Wow. This is beautiful. Oh, look at that. Oh, I almost unscrewed my paint cup. So yes, I can order and have the larger paint cup if I want, but I generally don't do larger paint jobs. So this was the perfect paint cup for me. Does that just pop off? Oh, it just pops off, not spin, no wonder. All right, so there you have it. Okay, once again, let me, let me try, try this all over again. Like I was saying, uh, certainly this airbrush is a luxury item. Um, I love my Badger Patriot 105, and it's served me really well, and, and I plan for it to still continue to serve me for a long time to come. Um, but when you use your airbrush as much as I use mine, I just feel that you have earn the right to have a luxury tool to use. And so, yeah, I ordered the best tool available for the job, the hard-earned steam bag. Look at that. Beautiful. Dial in my, 
by trigger pull. Like I said, there is value in quality. And boy, this sure fits the bill. Look at this thing. It is just stunning. Very good feel in my hand. And just the, the action on it, it's just beautiful. All right, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, click the bell, and you'll be notified anytime I release a new video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I really do read everything you guys post there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I hope that today is a fantastic, amazing day for you, and you all find your holy grail. This is Paul from Fat Guy Productions. Until next time, be good.